I do this message in obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my Lord and my Savior, and the only way to salvation. As he says, he is the truth, the way, and the life. There is no other way to be saved. I say this because I am a man, which means I'm capable of errors, and I do this out of obedience. I'm not here for the likes. I had accounts for other things regarding my profession, which gather millions of likes and views. So I'm not doing this for fame or recognition. In fact, all of this is for the merit and glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm also a man, and so I remind you that I'm capable of errors, which means your source for the truth is the Bible, the Word of God. No man, no preacher, no teacher, no pastor will hold that truth, but only be able to guide you to that truth. And I encourage you to go to the Word of God for confirmation of all things. In addition, you must pray to the Holy Spirit and receive confirmation that what I tell you comes from God. Please stay until the end because I will provide an explanation on my own terms of what I believe the Lord is pointing us to in this message. So please stay until the end. The message was, was received on October 20th, 2022 at 9 p.m. Write the word son, which I give you. For the time is at hand when I will restore the power of the nations to my son, the Lamb of God and the Lion, which comes from Judah. Now write, son, words of truth and of wisdom. Follow the path of the natives you call Indians, a path which leads to death and destruction. There you will find the dragon lying dormant in anticipation for his return. For many are the avenues of the enemy, but one is the God of all creation. The serpent hides in the desert, a path unbeaten by foot. When the moon strikes its course astray, there you will see the beast rise. Out of the ocean a wave, out of the sea a mountain. Beware, child, for the time is near. Not according to man are things understood. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Write, child, that the pain will be unbearable. And now is the time to return to me. For I will accept everyone in my infinite mercy. Repent and turn from your sin. For the time is near. The sin of idolatry and of worshipping the world. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. Repent. Time is now. Love, Abba, your Father. He also gave, gave me the scriptures for confirmation. One is Haggai 1, 3 to 15 and 2, 1. Matthew 25, 3. Proverbs 6, 3. Revelation 12, th sorry, 13, 3. So I had no idea, and I was definitely surprised in hearing about the path of the natives. I have nothing personal against any race um, or other beliefs, and certainly not to individual humans of any source, kind, or nature. I believe the Lord is accepting and extending is salvation to whole, all human beings. However, I was surprised in hearing this. And so not knowing what to do, I did some research and find, found out that there is a tribe called the Hopi Indians who have very similar beliefs to the idea of an apocalypse and the end of the world 
and what they believe is some form of, they call it the blue star, or the return of some extraterrestrial civilization, perhaps coming from some other dimensions. I'm led to believe that this is highly satanic in nature. And perhaps what the Lord is referring to in terms of the path that leads to destruction. Now, I'm not making claims that I know deeply the, and understand deeply the traditions of these people. I am suggesting this is a superficial research, an initial research rather, based on what the Lord has told me. I encourage you to do your own research and perhaps prove me wrong or suggest some other conclusions. I hope you understand that this confirms that the time is at hand. Most importantly, the Lord is telling us to repent from idolatry and from trusting and worshiping the world. The time is now to turn to the Lord fully and unconditionally letting go of the world and looking for him the lord jesus christ alone for your salvation peace